OK, so good evening for friends uh, from Asia region and also good morning and afternoon for uh, our community from Europe and also US. So welcome to RoboCup at Home Education, RoboCup 2022 Bangkok online classroom standard platform. Uh, today we have the class for Pepper Robot. And um, I'm as the host um, from um, RoboCup at Home Education and today uh, it's very uh, happy to have um, software robotics together with us. So uh, they will be with us um, for the whole five uh, class, uh, mainly to show you the actual uh, operation of the Pepper robot so that you can learn while uh, you can actually like experience virtually how the robot uh, behave in real life. OK, because like um, I think some of you might uh, finally join uh, the competition and we will have our face to face physical on site uh, workshop at, uh, in Bangkok. So um, right before the Robo Cup. So during that time, I'm also very happy that um, Softbank Robotics actually supporting us to have physical robots for our teams to actually experience uh, and also use them in the, the in the actual RoboCup competition as well. So um, this class serves as a, a pre-learning so that um, all of us can actually uh, learn what is a Pepper Robot can do and also how to develop. And at the same time, um, for this competition, we have the online version and also the on-site version. So for those, um, our community that could not uh, attend uh, physically in, in Bangkok, so we actually have the online challenge that you can join. So even like, for example, if without robots, you can still join the online challenge uh, that we will explain how, how you are going to develop um, your robot development and you should submit uh, your team materials for the online challenge. So that one we will explain along the way. So for you who are here today, so I believe everyone uh, interested in this pepper robot. So let's learn together how to actually make this robot useful for your daily life. OK, right. So let's start with um, some logistic uh, announcement. So the first thing is um, the class material. OK, so today we have uh, which is uh, at home education and also for our audience from Thailand. So uh, don't be afraid, let's say, like if you are not very familiar with uh, English as the medium, uh, you try, you can try to follow this class and we have our local LOC committee member uh, from Thailand, which is going to do some uh, brief um, translation for some important part so that you don't miss the important part. Uh, so they will translate um, the content, some of the content, the important one in Thai so that you can follow uh, closely with uh, the class progress. OK, so um, and also for we, we will take a break uh, during the class for Q&A. So during that time, if let's say you miss something or you want to ask something, you're not so sure when we explain in English, you can ask in Thai. Uh, language and our committee member will try to help you and also try to answer your question, right? So if you are not very fluent in English, don't worry. Please join the class and we will try to assist you as well, right? So we have the meeting links and as uh, as I announced in the email, so you will be using the same link for all the classes, right? So just remember this and you can take a photo, but it is available uh, at our course material site. So the first link that uh, written over there is um, the having the information of all our online classes. So if you want to know the time, you want to check the time, you want to check the link and so on, please go to our website and you can get all the information, right? And if you want to get the course material, which is, for example, the slide that you see in front of you now, you can actually get the materials from the robot4all.net site. So just go there and create an account if you haven't, and then you just uh, enroll uh, this particular course, then you can see the materials. And the material is not just a slide. So as uh, I said, um, as you know, that we actually recording this uh, session. So all the classes will be recorded and we will upload the video uh, about a few days after the class uh, on the same site, right? So you can find uh, the video and also the slide 
uh, and some other materials that we, we give out along the class uh, from the site itself. Okay, so with that, you can actually like review or just in case that you miss or your timing is not so good to join the class, you can still uh, refer back to the video and also the class materials. And lastly, if let's say you have any things you want to like discuss uh, in a more lengthy way, for example, like you want to show us your video, you want to show us your, your code or anything, yes, feel free to join the class group and we can discuss the forum inside there that we can discuss. Right, so um, this class we will start at um, 7.30 and then we will try to end. Uh, sorry, the time here is not 20, but it's 20, supposed to be 21. So it's supposed to be end at 9.30. Okay, I made a mistake there. Right, um, so we have two hours, but it depends on the progress and also Q&A. Sometimes it might be a bit shorter, sometimes it might be a bit longer, right? So this is roughly the timing. We try to cover everything in two hours. Okay, so finally, as a privacy reminder, a uh, video will be recorded, so please try not to turn on your camera and also your microphone anytime during the class, except when uh, during Q and A, or except when you have question to ask. Okay, so I will I will give you chance to ask question throughout the whole class. So during that time, you can turn on your mic and and respond to us. But other than that, please refrain from turning on your uh, webcam and also your microphone, so that we can run the class smoothly. But of course, this is not a lecture, so we actually expect interaction. So it's at any point uh, you can yeah, really interact with us by turning on your microphone and yeah, Q&A with us. OK, right. So I guess this information is uh, important and uh, I would like to invite our translator, our LOC member to briefly uh, say this thing in, in Thai. Can I have uh, uh, okay. committee? Yeah. อ่าโอเคอ่าสวัสดีครับก็ผมชื่อนพนัทนะครับก็เดี๋ยวอ่าจะมาเป็นทันสเลเตอร์สำหรับอ่าที่จะมาช่วยแปลในวันนี้นะครับก็เอ่ออย่างที่เขาเรียนแจ้งนะครับก็วันนี้ถ้าตามเวลาบ้านเราเนาะก็คือจะเป็นอ่าหกโมงครึ่งนะครับถึงสองทุ่มครึ่งเนาะแต่ว่าของเขาสไลด์ผิดนะครับเพราะเขาเป็น GMT บวกแปดนะครับอ่าถัดไปนะครับคนที่เอ่อสนใจในส่วนนี้เนาะก็สามารถที่จะไปดาวน์โหลดคอร์สแมทเทอเรียลนะครับที่เอ่อ robots for all net เนาะที่เป็นลิงก์ที่สองนะครับที่เป็นสแตนดาร์ดแพลตฟอร์มเนาะมันจะไม่ใช่ใช้ลิงก์เดียวกับที่เป็นเอ่อ open แพลตฟอร์มนะครับแล้วก็เอ่อพวก notification หรือว่าอะไรที่ต้องเปลี่ยนที่เขาเปลี่ยนแปลงหรือว่าอยากดูรายละเอียดข้อมูลต่างๆนะครับก็สามารถเข้าไปดูที่เอ่อลิงก์แรกนะครับ r o b o c u p at home edu o r g นะครับโอเคเจฟรี่ okay, Jeffrey. alright thanks a lot okay So um, before I start, I would like to invite and uh, our colleague from SoftBank Robotics. So I think in the list I saw Austin and also Lin Chong. So can you like uh, say hi to our community? Yeah, yeah, today, Austin and also Lin Chong. Hello, Jeffrey. Thank you. Hi, for... Austin. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, you can say a few words to our our team, our our, our community before we start the class. Okay. I'm so glad to join this uh, online classroom class meeting and uh, hopefully we're going to join this journey about how to uh, start just programming on paper and uh, yeah, uh, but uh, briefly I, I should have told, uh, to, told you guys um, we just stay at home because the end of the, the circumstance, circumstance in China, the COVID-19, we I did this first first class. We don't have this kind of real paper with us. Uh, and maybe next time we're gonna enjoy the kind of journey with the, the real pepper, how we program on the real pepper. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Austin. Yeah, don't worry. I think today is uh, mainly on the choreograph, which is the software yes. setup and so on. So we won't be actual uh, having the real pepper operation. But next week, hopefully, we'll have the real pepper in action. All right. So that everyone can see how it works. Okay. Right, so please take care and then, yeah, but don't go away because like later on yeah. you'll have to explain yeah. to us the technical part. Right, so everyone, this is um, Austin from SoftBank Robotics. Okay, right, so we will proceed um, to the class. Okay, the materials that we, we prepare is actually meant for teams who have their peppers, okay, uh, who, who, who actually having pepper in their labs or, or, or in the schools or, or anything. Uh, that they can actually work directly on the physical robots. So that's why we start with all this, like how to use Pepper and so on. But um, based on the list that currently I can see, 
I, I, I think I estimate like most of you don't have actually this pepper robot and maybe some of you don't know what is this pepper robot. So I think it's, uh, it's good that we will try to skip uh, the details that how to, uh, for example, like turn on and off and maybe it's not so relevant to you if you don't have this robot, but we will try to use these materials to introduce you what is a pepper robot. So pepper robot is a semi-humanoid Okay, okay, so the upper limb above is very similar like human, but it is run on uh, omni wheel. Okay, so it don't have two legs, but it run on omni wheels. And then because of all the very like flexible joint, so it can behave very, uh, how to say, lively like human. Okay, so as you can see, um, well, it still have the on off button and then the emergency switch, but okay, I can skip this. Okay, <laughs> right. Uh, over here, you can see like it is. Uh, it has something called autonomous autonomous mode. So what it what is this autonomous mode meant for for you is that this robot is actually designed to run autonomously, which means it is very different from normal robot that we build in labs, which is we actually program the robot for a certain application only. But for Pepper robot, it is actually the first mass produced. Um, uh, humanoid robots that meant for real life application, which means you can actually see real robot actually working in restaurant, in um, in uh, soft bank uh, shops that, that I actually saw a lot in in Tokyo and Japan, and you can see pepper in factory and so on. So there are there are actually real life uh, application that we use pepper for daily life. So um, over here, it is actually can run autonomously, which is it can run like how you having a staff in your in your shops uh, that can deal with the dynamics of the changes uh, in daily life operation. OK, right. So but of course, like um, uh, the advantage of Pepper is it, it don't need any food or anything, but it still need the charging. So it's very similar like a phone or your laptops and, and so on. So it only work with um, electricity. So as long as we charge, Pepper actually can able to work like 24 hours, right? Okay. And yeah, for safety reason and also for, for operation, uh, sometimes we, we we need to know how to take care of uh, pepper, especially like when something happened and so on. So later on, when you come to the workshop in, in Thailand uh, during our face to face on site workshop, you can see that um, we. Pepper actually uh, can interact very naturally with human, but of course, when something happened, you can actually see the, the indicator. OK, on the shoulder. So this indicator actually uh, is something like safety features to let us know that what happened internally uh, to Pepper, that when things are um, not going well, <laughs> then we can have uh, some indicator that we know how to um, solve the rescue, the situation or, or solve the problem uh, immediately. Right. OK, so uh, this is the important part. So the technical overview. So Pepper is about um, 1.2 meter, which is like a, a young teenager. Yeah, I guess it's, it's like a it's like a high school student height. And then um, the weight is about 28 kg, so it's, it's relatively light. OK, but it is not easy to hug uh, the pepper. I mean, like to 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 really bring it up. Uh, it is stable enough. It's just like a, a young adult, right? So it's a, it's a teenager size. And then it run on lithium, uh, the battery, which is having the operating time of about 12 hours. So when used at shop, so which means uh, in real life uh, situation, it is a very useful machine that you can put in shops that it can work very similar like uh, human stuff. And then it can work like 12 hours. I think like for human, even we need to break within the 12 hours. So it is a very, uh, how to say, efficient um, um, tools that we can use for our shops uh, for the commercial setting, right? So that's why you can see a lot of um, shops in, in, in Japan, particularly uh, having Pepper as uh, the receptionist. OK, I'm not sure about other parts of uh, the world, but I actually saw Pepper in many places, for example, like in, in, in the airport of many countries in Europe and also in US. Uh, actually saw and I actually saw in, in, in Singapore, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Singapore airport actually have pepper before and, and so on. So it really uh, is a commercial robot. It's a, uh, uh, how to say, 
uh, normal user can actually own it and use it at home, right? Okay, so yeah, you can actually buy Pepper and put it at home uh, for it's something very similar like a home application uh, because of you can see the operating time is relatively long as compared to other robots that we build. <laughs> right, so it has a 10.1 inch uh, display touch screen in front of uh, the robot at, at the chest area. So this will be very useful for some multimedia uh, interaction that UI that the user can touch screen and, and do some selection and so on, on top of uh, the whole uh, body uh, expression, right? Then uh, at the head got um, four microphones. So it is actually a microphone array that make Pepper able to hear sound from the surrounding. So which means it is very similar like human that we can actually identify where the sounds come from. So for example, like if someone actually calling my name from behind, uh, I actually know, right, the sound is from behind, then I will like turn my head uh, to the back and interact with that person. So this function actually, uh, we, we actually have this function in Pepper as well. And I think in uh, one of uh, the class, uh, which is uh, on the speech interaction, so we will introduce these features that you can actually see how we can program the Pepper to actually uh, get the direction, right? Then we have the gyro, we have the touch sensor uh, along the hand, so which means you can yeah, touch the hand of the pepper and it can actually recognize. So it is very similar like um, you shake the hand or you, you hold the hand uh, to ask pepper to follow you and so on, right? Then for the leg, uh, it, it is equipped with sonar sensor, laser sensor, bumper sensor and gyro sensor. So these sensors are used uh, for the pepper to recognize the environment for navigation, right? So the sonar sensor and the laser sensor basically is to build a map, uh, do the navigation, and also to detect any possible uh, obstacle so that it don't, for example, the bumper sensor, so it, so that the pepper can move safely uh, in a home environment, in a very narrow environment, uh, without collide into any of this object, right? So this is uh, the, the features uh, in pepper that helps the pepper to move around safely, right? Then we have the moving part, which is um, the joint. So you can see like we have uh, a lot of joints uh, in Pepper, like 20 motors and above. So this joint is designed so that the Pepper can have very flexible and lively human gesture, human-like gesture. Uh, for example, to rotate the, the head and then to rotate the limbs, uh, the hand, the, the, even the fingers, you can see like it is moving, okay? All right. Then the platform is uh, written here is now GOS, but um, that this is a bit old because now we have actually two two types. Like one is the uh, the Python version, another one is the Android version. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, one is now Qi and one is Qi OS. Okay, so maybe later Austin can can verify this information. So the OS itself is something that we are going to learn in this class because like we are going to use the API and then we are going to use uh, the the Programming tools, which is we're going to introduce in this uh, class, which is the choreograph, to show you how we can actually uh, program so that uh, the pepper can behave in such a way that you want. Okay, so that it can uh, do the duty that you design for for pepper. Right. Okay. So for networking, yeah, it's very similar like normal laptop. It's a Wi-Fi, and then you got also an Ethernet. But usually we don't use the internet. Only during programming or during development, uh, we use the internet. But most of the time, it can actually run freely uh, by connecting to the Wi-Fi, and you can still communicate with uh, the Pepper. Okay, motor speed uh, is up to three kilometer per hour, so it is not very fast, but also not very slow. It is just nice. I mean, like very similar, like a slow walking human. Or, or maybe if we are walking slow, then it's very similar like a normal human being walking around. So it is good enough uh, as, a, for example, a shopkeeper and so on to move in a very small area uh, so that it is a very natural and also not dangerous, okay? And the climbing, yeah, 1.5 centimeters. So this is for the, for the, for the, for the steps. Uh, sorry, not the step, I think like the, the, the inclination. Uh, of the ground, but usually Pepper is supposed to be designed to work in indoor environment, which is the ground is supposed to be flat, so this is not a big problem, 
right. Then on the right hand side, you can see uh, some sensor coverage. Okay, so as I said just now, we have uh, the sonar sensor, the laser sensor. So these are the range that the sensor can detect and you can use this information to actually design your robot so that your robot can move safely in the environment that you uh, that they intended to work. So over here, you can see we've got 3D, sen 3D sensor, sonar sensor, infrared sensor, and laser sensor. So we can, we got multiple sensor. And in this class, we will try to use some of these sensors uh, to get some uh, recognition. For example, like we can use the, the video camera uh, to detect the face. We can use the sonar sensor and laser sensor to actually move the robot around and so on. OK, All right, so these are the technical overview. So if anything, uh, you would like to know more, uh, Austin is here, so he can explain to you in more detail. Right, so for this uh, technical overview, okay, so uh, there are a few ways, uh, in fact, quite a lot of methods to develop Mapper robots, okay? Uh, you can you can write code, you can, if let's say you are not so good in uh, command line interface, we also have a graphical GUI tools that to help you to do the programming. For example, like the method that we are going to introduce to you in this class, because we got to know like most of you are actually uh, beginner. You start to learn about um, these robots and you want to uh, learn how to develop AI uh, with robots. So we choose this choreograph, which is uh, very ideal for a beginner that you can actually start to write your program with just a few uh, operation. Okay, just pull the box connect them together, try to understand what is the logic and your robot can work. Okay, so that's why we, we introduced this, which is the, the software name is called Choreograph. Okay, so Choreograph is the software that we are going to introduce in this class to show you how you can actually program Pepper with this software. And uh, the advantage of this uh, Choreograph is like it can run on uh, almost any uh, platform. For example, like you have Windows, you have Mac OS, you have Linux, yes, both. All three, it can actually run this software. But uh, during installation, there might be some details, for example, the 3D renderer problems and so on, which is, I think Austin will explain more. So later on, we will show you how to install the software. And if you have any difficulty, yeah, feel free to contact us uh, to see how uh, we can help you to solve the installation part. Okay, right. So, and this software is not just for you to program, but it can use to um, monitor or to visualize the real-time status of robot. As you can see, maybe in starting of next week, you can see like when we use this software to connect to the, so this software can be used to connect to the real robots. And then we actually able to see the internal state. For example, we can see the camera feed from the robots. We can see uh, the current join. For example, like what is the pose of the current, uh, what is the current uh, pose of the, robot, the real robot, it can actually reflect and we can see uh, a, a virtual robot in, in the choreograph that can have the same pose as the real one in real world. Okay, so in real time, we can know all these status and this will be very useful for you to do the programming because like you no need to imagine how it looks like in real world because you can actually get uh, the real time uh, status. Right, so it is a graphical so which means you no need to write everything like in, in text. Uh, you've got boxes, you will connect with the line. Later on, you will see more. So it's a simply drag and drop uh, instruction that you can come up with the uh, program for the robots. OK, right. But of course, it is not very, not just limited to the GUI. In fact, down there, it is actually abstract and down there, it runs Python language. So it is a very idle for beginner because now a lot of people are actually learning Python. So you can actually use Python to actually um, extend the, the features in the choreograph that you can actually connect, use Python to connect with, uh, for example, you have a third party uh, software that you want to run uh, or to add on so that you can have a very rich and also very uh, nice integrated uh, uh, program for your for your robots, which is I will explain more, for example, like how to connect it with ROS. Uh, so I introduced ROS yesterday uh, so that we can have a lot of very uh, advanced robotics functionality or you want to add in a lot of AI features. Yes, with this Python interface, you can do a lot, right? Okay, 
and then support the simulation of the robot. Yes, as I said just now in Choreograph, we actually have a simulated robot inside there, right? So you can actually preview how the robot will behave, or especially the movement, especially the speech and so on. You can see, uh, you can simulate in, a, in, a, in the simulation model before you run the code uh, in, on the real robots, okay? So to download, yeah, you can go to the link and you can see some example tutorial, but don't worry now because like we are going to introduce uh, all these things step by step after this. Right, so this is the installation. Okay, so I just list down the, the link so that you can find uh, where, where is uh, the location. And for the installation, uh, later on, Austin will show you the steps exactly how to do the installation. So he will explain more. So Austin is our technical guy that will explain to you how the installation uh, can be done. So he will illustrate, he will show you, okay, in demo how to do the installation. It's not very uh, complicated, it's actually quite simple, just like how you install normal software. But um, if you go to the website, currently it say that it support Windows 7 and 8.1, which is a relative, which is a bit old because I, I guess everyone now is using Windows 10. But uh, for myself, I actually install uh, on my Windows 10 machine and it runs perfectly, no problem. So I, I think it should be compatible with most of the PC currently. But later on, we will show you uh, uh, a few ways, okay, for you to set up the, 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 the software, right? And very important thing is like this software is actually, uh, you don't need to pay, right? So because, uh, but you need to activate, uh, you can get the activation code on the website actually, okay? So just in case that you cannot find on the website, we, I, I list down here, so you can refer, you can just type in this activation code and your software should work, okay? So don't worry about. Uh, the activation code. You don't need to pay for the activation code, okay? <laughs> right, so this is the interface. This is how it looked like. As I said just now, we have a simulated pepper inside there. So I, I will show you this. Uh, later, we'll show you how to do this. And then um, uh, after the installation, on the second half of this uh, class, we will explain the interface, what are the windows, what are the features, and I think like Austin will demonstrate to you uh, to build up a simple uh, application today so that you can, uh, after this, install the software by yourself and actually try to test on uh, the test program. Okay, so this one we will, we will say, we will explain more after this. Okay, so continue with the introduction. So, for the development method, so just now we are using um, Choreograph to develop. So I'm not sure uh, our audience today, maybe some of you have uh, some experience in building robots and you just want to know how different Pepper compared to other robots. So if let's say you have experience building robots, you know like uh, we can build robots with, for example, Python, C++ and so on. So just in case you know how to develop robots or, or software or application with Python and C++ and so on, for example, Java or JavaScript, uh, Pepper actually have uh, this SDK, right? And uh, I think the most widely uh, compatible SDK is for the Python SDK. So which means you can actually, without using Choreograph, write everything in Python and with the SDK, you can call the API and it still work, okay? But uh, as you can see over here, it, it gives you some uh, compatibility uh, with different uh, software language and also uh, the binding and also the choreograph support and so on. So you can see for Python, it is actually fully support for binding and also for choreograph support and so on, right? So I, I personally also use a lot of Python uh, programming, so it is recommended here in this class. Uh, you can use Python to develop your Pepper robots. Okay, so we have this SDK that you can download from the official website. Right, and also yesterday I just uh, conducted the first class for the OP, which is the open platform. So in OP, mainly we introduce this, what we call the ROS. So ROS is ro Robot Operating System. So it's, uh, it's, it is an open software, open source software that are uh, very useful to develop robots. Okay, and a lot of uh, this uh, ROS functionality actually can be used on Pepper as well, especially uh, when you want to do some advanced stuff. Okay, very, very advanced stuff that are only available in ROS. And uh, after you learn all the skill, 
uh, you want to use this, the, those application on Pepper Robot, yes, you can also do that, right? Because um, Pepper actually, the Nauchi, Nauchi OS, uh, actually have API and also they have package that for you to link between uh, Nauchi and also the ROS. So you can combine these two and do a lot of um, application, right? So I put down some link for a reference. You can go to the ROS site or you can go to the ROS wiki site that explain to you about Pepper. So uh, my team actually using this uh, to, 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 to develop our Pepper robot for at home competition. So it is a very powerful and yes, if uh, you joined the class yesterday or you have experience in ROS and you want to use whatever materials or whatever development that you have done there on Pepper Robot, yes, it is possible, okay? Right, so just to show you some example that if you know ROS, this, is, this should be very familiar with you. So uh, the RV's user interface, we can actually tap all the sensor data and then we can actually uh, visual, visualize it in RVs. So on the lower left-hand side is the, the video, video uh, the camera feed. So that is what the Pepper actually see in front of uh, Pepper. And then we also have the 3D uh, data right on the right-hand side. Okay, yeah. Right, so we can extend a lot and, and for the development method four, we can use the Nauchi API for other things. For example, you want to use some web uh, application or web services. For example, you use Google speech. You want to use Google speech on Pepper. It is also possible, right? Because of just how I said, you have the Python SDK. So basically, yeah, a lot of things you can do uh, to combine Pepper API ROS and with other things. So over here, uh, we put down like image data and audio data. It can actually link between Pepper and also the third party software. So you can do a lot, like even you can extend to like deep learning stuff and so on. So many things that you can do, right? And also, just as I said that um, in the in the earlier earlier stage, uh, Pepper has another version which is run on Android. Okay, so if you are uh, people that uh, want to or, or you have experience in creating Android apps and so on, so this might interest you. So we can actually run Pepper that accept uh, Android development. And currently, this uh, setup is uh, mainly used in a commercial setting. So as I said just now, Pepper used a lot in commercial, uh, for example, like it run in shops and, and so on. So for the commercial application, mainly it is now uh, developed in Android and then the, the apps uh, or the program is actually packaged in the apps um, format, right? So if you want to know more about the information, how to develop Pepper with Android, yeah, you can go to the link and, and see how's it. Right, so for the competition, so this time we are actually preparing uh, you for the RoboCup at Home Education Challenge during RoboCup 2022. But it is actually can be used for the at home challenge as well, because like in at home challenge, we actually have the um, OPL and SSPL and DSPL. So SSPL is actually meant for uh, social standard platform link, which is they are using Pepper for the at home SSPL competition as well. So other than just our education challenge, you can also join at home later on, okay, with just uh, the Pepper development. And yeah, we, we actually have other like SoftBank competitions and so on. So there are many competitions for you to join with this uh, platform. Okay, so this is the second half. So I will pass the time to um, Austin to show us how to install Choreograph, okay? And then later on, we will explain about this basic functionality. So Austin just show how to install, okay? Thank you very much. Very much. Okay, so I'll pass the, 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 the screen to you. Okay, so let me let me stop my 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 sharing. Okay. Okay, okay. But, uh, stop and my sharing. This one. Okay. Thank, okay. You, guys. Thank you, guys. Right. So you have the screen now. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, share the screen. screen. Okay. Okay. My whole screen. Okay. Can okay. can you guys see my screen? Yes. 
Yeah, OK, let's just start it. So thank you for all just joining this mm, online classroom. And uh, I believe that Jeffrey just covered all the details about the, the Pepper and the, how, how this, and the, all the software we can use on Pepper. Um, today here I'm as a developer and I also have my coworker here at Lin Song. And if you have any questions, please raise your hand. I can maybe we can answer your question as soon as possible. And uh, yeah, basically we have the we have different software to just uh, develop on the real paper. And here we just opened the website we can use to download the software. And then we're going to introduce how the and the basic um, hardware we use on paper. And um, when we want to use the when we want to uh, develop, develop a program on, on paper, we, we need to give software. Basically, we can enter in this website and it is also it's also covered by the slide of Jeffrey sharing. And uh, here we just open it, the open this website and that's the developer. Yeah, this is developer.softbankrobotics and dot com and it's the main website we use uh, just uh, um, all the documents and for uh, all, all the document for developments on paper and uh, also uh, we have another website we still can if somebody just know know the, what is in Chinese you can search this website but it's, it's a little kind of difference it's a, a developer softbank dot dot com dot dot cn and uh, they have a lot of tools and documents to support you um how how to develop uh, the program in pepper uh but in Current situation, I believe all the students or all the developers come from overseas. Uh, we just uh, back to this uh, uh, the main website and just covered by Bad Jeffrey. And uh, here, uh, as you, as you can know, uh, if you know this, the products from the SoftBank Robotics, we basically have these two products. One is that we call the Pepper. And uh, really focus on that uh, um, in the future. And after the, after the, the following classes, we will all work, cover this robot. And another we call it now, but it, they can, they, they, these two robots are kind of different. So maybe if I have a chance to um, teach you guys, maybe we can we can cover this this part. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. Uh, let's um, jump into the pepper parts. I'll click on it. And uh, we saw uh, the tab. They, they have different manuals on it, and they just they, these manuals, uh, uh, the contents from these manuals support all the developments and processor we can use. And the first part we got this Pepper TSDK, and also for now robots now six, and even for now Pepper now to don't to don't five. And in the slides. Uh, uh, shared by Jeffrey, we we know that Pepper have different versions, right? So for the, if they have the Android version, we we call this version like uh, Pepper T SDK. This just supports. Uh, um, we can we can develop uh, develop uh, the program on on the Android Android Studio, and uh, here I got the Android Studio. So pretty much like this. Okay, just wait a second. Enjoy. OK. This is our uh, development tool so for the 2.2.9 on, on Pepper. And uh, if you got interested in it, maybe you can ask me after this meeting. And another version for support uh, with the core graph, uh, this because it's now T2.5. I uh, want to click on it. And um, they're going to show the, the recent documents and projects and uh, some new updates. And if you want to download download the software from you know, the core graph, you, we can click here. And, and after when we click this menu, below that we, we can see the Linux and Mac Windows because you know core graphs just support all the multiple uh, platform and uh, you, you just uh, pick one, one of that 
you download to uh, install them, you install them, installation. And here for me, I have the, about this mic. I have this kind of version, mic uh, more J as versions like this. Uh, but uh, like uh, what uh, Jeffrey said, we, uh, you know, a core graph is support on different on different platform from Windows, Linux, even from mics. But the not limitation for a specific version. Oh, uh, we only we just uh, you guys just try to install uh, on any versions on the, on the on your computer. Even we can include Windows 10, and some some the version with Windows 10 can work with the core graph. Okay, here I got the mic uh, environment. I can scrap down below. He, uh, yeah, here we have different kind of version. One was for a core graph setup and another is a core graph binary. And they also supported on different version of that. So like uh, uh, on Linux, they also have the setup version and also binary version. For Windows, also the setup and a setup version and a core graph and binary version. Uh, for the binary version, they means just uh, coded. Uh, I mean, I mean just uh, expressed by the binary. You, once you just download this file, you don't need to install uh, install any uh, install the file by just uh, following the commands. We need to do just uh, depress this uh, file, and you use you can you can run with the uh, you can run with the software with the icon. Yeah, and for the setup version. And we need to do just to follow the step to install all the software uh, as you can. <clears throat> okay. Uh, uh, in in this in this uh, online uh, training, I just maybe I just uh, uh, short it and uh, I I already download this uh, core graph setup version and uh, try to install it. And by the way, just the uh, uh, core graph is free. And once you just inst after inst installation of uh, core graph, you just enter the lesson key, and that's the important part. Okay. Uh, in my my conversion, after I download this software, I install all the software here. There includes include two or uh, two software. One of the for a uh, core graph, another is uh, about the monitor. And uh, I'm going to click on it. I'm going to run this software. Yeah. We just wait for it. Okay. Still, still working. Once this is show the so show the message like uh, connect to the virtual robots, and you can see the virtual robot here, which means that that the software core graph working. Okay, that's a uh, that's the all whole pictures about the core graph. It's pretty much like the slide uh, of Jeffrey Sherry. and okay, and I'm uh, um, in this in this class. Also want to share more details about the uh, hardware of Pepper, but uh, but right now we, we just we, I, do, I didn't have the real Pepper. Mm, we can use this. Uh, we can we can use this uh, mm, uh, the virtual one to give a more, give a little introduction about it. In the real in the in the inside the Pepper, we know that how we have kind of different system. We call the now Qi uh, OS and uh, also we call the Qi SDK, right? So before that, I told you they are kind of different. One is for Android and another for the uh, 2.5. So back to the uh, the website, we can enter we can enter into the doc at burn.com. And here, the main website for developer, they, cut, they use the Nauchi Documentation Center. And uh, for this part, we for, for, for this, this class, we only focus on the paper. So 
The first one we call the TSDK. This is a Pepper SDK for only for Android, and uh, we still have the Nauchi version. Okay, we call the Nauchi uh, shortly. We mean this uh, is is specific for the Pepper robot it's operating system, and they also support the uh, C uh, for the C C++ developer. And uh, another is uh, about the now robot. So we just skip this one and really focus on this one. And after after the following class, we're gonna um, learning all the programming. Even for me, I just uh, learn from the now 2.5 from here. There, we can open it. Yeah, we can see uh, we can see the now operating system support. Yeah, like Jeffrey, Jeffrey, Jeffrey is sharing, and in the slides we can see there uh, the SDK supports Python and C++ and Java and even JavaScript in the rows, right? And they just uh, um all the SDK support on 2.5. Yeah, that's mean yeah, which means um, you can try the different SDK uh, and run with your with with your computer. Yeah. Okay. Back to the core graph, and I'm also, also you want to introduce the more important parts about Pepper. We know Pepper have a degrees of motion, and uh, they only the totally they have 20 uh, degrees of motion. <clears throat> here, once we click on the virtual robots, we can see here. Let's get to. I'll click on the robots. We can see they have they have a two degrees right we even can adjust the degrees to make the pepper has move and another part about the arm they got us they got a six of that and the body they got us three so that's what that's what it mean means of peppers and uh motions degrees yeah they can they can use this degrees to make to compile dance or make 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 the motions more like a human human. So that's why we call it the pepper is a humanoid robot. Okay, and also in the head we have uh, three sensors. Uh, we call it the touching sensor. Uh, maybe we can uh, use this sensor to uh, to accept the events from the outside. Like uh, once once you just touch your touch the pepper's head and they just a uh, it trigger one event to to your program then you can capture this event to run specific specific uh, programming you want to go okay okay not the another important part is the uh, it's about the autonomous life yeah autonomous life means pepper uh, one pepper just start from scratch you can see that the pepper have their basic knowledge uh, pre, uh, and basic movements like uh, three years is three years kids. So that's the basic knowledge behind pepper. Mm. OK, that's pretty much about the uh, core graph. Um, all right, uh, I guess I cover all this um, kind of important parts of hardware introduction and uh, another another important parts we cover is the uh, documentation and uh, in the following class i guess we always around with this software's code graph and uh, the website we are sharing um, i'm gonna back to jeffrey in, okay, in, right. In thanks austin thanks for the very detailed uh, explanation and i believe everyone uh, know where to get the software because like okay the first thing that you need to do now is to get the software installed in your computer so that you get ready uh, for class next week great but um now is uh before 8 30 so we will have our second half uh, after this but before we go into the second half which is we will introduce the interface of choreograph so that you can play with it this week until next week before we start our our hands on on creating a uh, real application for Pepper. So you need to set up your software environment system. So this is very important. 
uh, for you to have the software environment system so that you can follow the class to actually create application. And don't worry if you don't have the robot because like, as we said, you can actually run it on the simulator to see how it behaves uh, before you put the program on real robots. Okay, right. So um, just now, uh, Austin already um, show you uh, how to install the software, but just in case that your installation might have some problem or you don't have actually spare uh, PC to run your choreograph or you want to run choreograph with, for example, ROS environment and you don't know how to set up your ROS environment or you want to run choreograph with Python environment that you feel it very difficult to run. Uh, to set up your Python environment. So in Robot for All, this time we have a new tools that we want to introduce. Okay, so if you go to our website, which is a uh, Robot for All for the for the materials, this one. Okay, so not only the material, but if you scroll to the last point, you can the uh, last part, you can actually see this RFA workspace. So RFA workspace then for Robot for All workspace. So you click over here. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I guess everyone. OK, so wait, let me. OK, yes, so that's the problem. Yes. <laughs> I think I think like because everyone is accessing the, the the server and then yeah, we actually. Having problem to maintain. All your access, so yeah, let me restart. To make it to, to show you how is it. So give me some time to restart the the thing. Okay, but before that, I didn't share my screen, right? <laughs> okay, I need to share my screen first. Yeah. Okay. Right. So now, okay. So this is the workspace. Uh, but how to go to the workspace? Let me show you how to go to the workspace. Okay, but before that, uh, let me restart the server. Okay. Okay, so we really have not enough server computing power to sustain all your access at once. Okay, but yeah, bear with us and we will try to improve the system very soon. Okay, so this workspace, but currently because you all don't have the access, it's over here. So after you log into your robot for all uh, account, then you're supposed to have this workspace link over here. Okay, but since you haven't really uh, joined, uh, the membership for this workspace. So currently you can actually access from your course. OK, so just now I said. So when you OK, maybe I demonstrate again. So this is the course for today. So uh, you come here, then you click on this one. You can get the slide. OK, and then we will put the video up here next week OK, for today's video, because uh, after the record, we need some. We need to do some editing, then we will put the video over here. But for today, uh, just want to show you where is this uh, workspace thing. You can actually access the workspace from here as well. So over here, the workspace today, you can try. OK, so try. This is what we call the robot for all workspace virtual desktop. OK, so with this virtual desktop, we actually have something like this. OK, so if you go into it, uh, the password is on the website there. So you can have a Linux machine, right? So Ubuntu machine and we have choreograph installed, but don't click on this because choreograph needs some rendering, needs some graphic card support. So it don't run on web base. OK, it don't run on web base. So this one is just for you to feel how a Linux environment look like. But just in case you really want to use it, we have another version which is not web based uh, that you can actually use it at your terminal, for example, if you are using a Windows, then you have a tool called uh, Remote Desktop. OK, called Remote Desktop and uh, you can apply here. So this is the application so we can apply here in order to get access to this. So this is a, a, a shared account that you can you can test. But once you become the beta tester, OK, let me switch to my another. <laughs> to, to show you how it looks like, OK? Right. OK, so I need to share from here. Uh, share screen. OK, so now I'm, I'm back to my main computer here. 
So um, when once you share the screen, uh, sorry, share the. Once you um, have the beta uh, testing account, you can actually access using your remote desktop connection. OK, so I, I show you the example. So if this is my Windows interface, so you can actually run um, remote desktop. OK, so this uh, information will be given to use after your application. And if you got approved, you will be given an account that you can connect. OK, so this one you will connect to the robot for all uh, workspace virtual desktop. OK, so then uh, we will give you the password and username. And you will have your Ubuntu system. OK, so this is a virtual uh, desktop that we provide in robot for all, uh, especially for you to develop ROS. So yeah, I, we introduced this yesterday and today for the user for Pepper. So just in case you want to link your Pepper with Python, for example, or you want to link your, your choreograph with uh, ROS, this will be an ideal environment. So with this, uh, I will show you, we already have a choreograph installed. So if you run your choreograph, yes, you will have your choreograph here like this. So it's similar like what Austin just showed you that your choreograph can run on your local machine and we can also run it on this uh, virtual uh, virtual desktop. OK, then with this, uh, you can actually have your ROS here as well. So if I run ROS core over here, we have the ROS here. So you have the ROS version and also your Python environment uh, and also your choreograph in the same machine and this will speed up your development. OK, but Currently, this virtual desktop is on beta testing, so we are still testing on the stability and so on. So we encourage team leader uh, and also the uni faculty to, uh, to apply for an account and we would like you to help us to test on this system. OK, so yeah. So again, where to sign up? OK, so let me let me go back to sorry. So this one, when you run, OK, you have this something like this. OK, so yeah, yeah, OK, OK. Right, so something like this. OK, so let me stop this and then go back to my screen over here. Uh, OK, so I'm a bit confused <laughs> dealing with two machine for this, but well, everything is OK. So I'm back to this. PC. OK, so just again how to how to apply. Yeah, you can apply it here. OK, right. So now I would like to go back to. Our slide. OK, your slides over here. OK, so before we proceed, OK, let me go to the. This one, OK, I think I want this. OK. So before we proceed, uh, I would like to take a break. So we have a five minute break, which is uh, we will come back at three uh, at, at 33. OK, but um, I, I won't go away. I will open this five minutes time for Q&A. Uh, if you have any question about setting up this system and also I would like to invite our translator from our LOC to assist if let's say you want to ask question in Thai or we can answer you in Thai as well. Right, so yeah, before we go to the next um, part, which is we're going to ask, uh, we're going to explain to you the choreograph interface and also how to build a simple application so that you can test it on this week before our class next week. Anything you want to ask? Yeah, you can ask even like if you don't have pepper, then what should you do and so on. Me and Austin over here will try to help you. Okay, so uh, you can take a break, five minutes, and I open for Q&A. Right, so any question you want to ask about anything that we just explained just now, feel free to ask now. Anything you want to ask? Austin, you got anything you want to add? Yes, you can also add now before we jump into choreograph. Yeah, so yeah. just for your yeah, so just for your information, um, Austin and team, I'm not sure like you guys will be going to Bangkok, but I think some of you will be there, right? You need to support the at home SSPL as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so uh, they will so which means SoftBank will actually bring Pepper Robot to Bangkok during the RoboCup time. So we will have the physical workshop over there, and this will be a very very good chance for local community, especially uh, the Thai community, to actually experience um, Pepper. So 
over here, I would like to open this Q&A time if you have any related question about this. Any anything you want to ask? And for our translator, can you please like translate a bit what we just try to tell the community here? Uh, yeah, yeah okay. just in case they don't understand or they miss what I just explained. Oh, I missed something because uh, the signal of uh, the, my, in, my internet is half. Okay, uh, no problem. Very yeah. slow. So just open this for Q&A. So if let's say any of the audience who would like to ask anything. Yeah, maybe you can ask them if they got anything to ask in Thai. Oh, okay, okay. อ่าถ้าอ่าท่านท่านท่านได้มีคําถามครับก็เอ่อสามารถถามขึ้นมาได้เลยนะครับไม่ว่าจะเป็นภาษาอังกฤษหรือภาษาไทยนะครับก็เ
Okay, and um, it depends on what kind of language package installed on your machine, you need to select the correct one, or else it might give you the error before you're able to run your program. So the language setting to start is very important. Okay, so over here, it is actually for under property. Later, Austin will show you exactly how to do this. Right, then for the project file, so you can see to create a Pepper program, you just, you not just create one file, you actually create a, a group of files. Okay, so, and then under several uh, folder, and the folder is arranged in such a way that you can see all this project file uh, on the left-hand side windows. Okay, so it is arranged in this way. And I think this is very similar if you're familiar with, for example, like Visual Studio and so on, it is, yeah, something like that. So we have a folder that uh, program uh, or, or to govern the behavior of the pepper. We have another one, the transition and then so on, right? And your main program is actually the something something dot PL, PML. Okay, so that is your program, right? Then we have uh, the box, the, the instruction box, we call it the instruction box library. So this instruction li uh, box library is the, how to say, uh, choreograph and capsule a lot of frequently used function into what we call the instruction box. Okay, so for example, you want to move the robot. So we have the animation, we have the speech. You want to make the robot able to say something. You want to control the LED. You want to play some multimedia on the screen. You want to move the robot. You want to do the sensing or you want to do some logic programming and so on. So it is arranged into this several uh, folder that you can find out later on. Austin will show you how it looks like in real, in real, real uh, demonstration. So you can actually drag out the function in what we call the instruction box. So each box will have a, a complete function that you can do, for example, make the pepper speak something, right? Or make the pepper move, or make the pepper do some uh, movement, or make the pepper, for example, like get the, get the data or get the uh, send something, for example, like you touch the hand or you touch the head and so on. So you can have the sensor box as well, right? So it arranged in such a way. So this box, it after you drag the box out, you can actually see there are actually many input and output. So this input and output basically is for you to, to link or to connect this box with other box, other boxes in order to formulate or in order to uh, develop the logic of your program. So the logic is, for example, uh, you got the input from, you need to give the input for a speech. For example, you have a speech uh, box. You need to input what the robot is supposed to say, right? Then after that, this speech will go to Pepper and it will say it out and so on, right? So these are all. And we have different type of input and different type of output. So this one, I will leave it for Austin to explain what are those things. Right, and the flowchart drawing box in the center. So this is how we produce the program in um, Choreograph. So it it might be not very similar like Scratch. Okay, so it is very unique by itself. So you have all the boxes, and then you try to connect the boxes to create the logic. The logic is not just sequential. It's not just slow sequential. It can be like multiple. It can loop back and so on. So there are a lot of way that um, the logic is actually represented by the box and how you connect the box with other boxes. Okay, so this is this is the thing. And also you can see the line actually coming from uh, the far left wall <laughs> and also it actually go to the far right wall. So that is actually uh, from the system. For example, the left side is actually the events. Okay, and then the right hand side will go to, for example, end of the program and so on. Okay. Yeah, so this is how you create a program. Uh, you drag the box to the center and then you try to link them together. Then you can run it and the box will have some, you can, if you can see a wrenches uh, on the lower left of the box, uh, it is actually the setting. For example, some boxes can let you adjust certain parameter. For example, the speed of the speech, the pitch of the speech and, and so on. So these are all the parameter that you can set Right, okay. Right, and also you can create your own uh, box by integrating or combining certain box. So for example, you have an integrated box that combine that like down there, you have something like make Pepper say something and do something. 
then you want this whole uh, behavior to be repeated several times. So you can actually encapsulate or try to create an integrator box to group them together and then you can yeah copy them and then yeah use it several times and so on. So this is what we call um uh we we can group certain group of instruction box together. Okay. Then you can yeah create your customized box. So this is your customized box. It become a new box that contain several box now there. In in fact it is actually layer by layer like this but if you open up the box down there, it is actually Python code, right? So we have the Python code and then into a, a, a what we call the default box, uh, the original box, and then you can combine several box to several boxes to become a bigger integrated or customized box as well. And this is how you create uh, in Choreograph. Okay, then yeah, the flow flow chart. Okay, so this is how when you execute, you can actually see one dot running through the line so that actually show you the flow right so later we will see how is it in, in real action okay right so you hit the run so this is the run button you hit then it will start to uh, execute the program and you can run it on your virtual robot or you can also run it on the real robot okay right so um after you run uh you actually create the something what we call the exe so you can see the, the program on the lower right hand side. Right, then of course you can delete the application and add in new application and so on. So that one will deal with something like things that you send to the robots, okay? The, the program, right. So you can, you can yeah, do a lot of um, configuration on the robot application. Uh, that one, uh, so under the lower left uh, windows, uh, this one I will leave it for Austin to explain. This one will be useful when you want to uh, run it on the real robots. Okay, and of course you can export to a CLG file, which is sometimes or, or most of the time we want Pepper to run autonomously. So you want the program not connect to your choreograph, but to run autonomously or independently by itself. So you can create this CLG file load it on Pepper and then make it run autonomously. So this is the thing. All right, so basically I have explained all uh, the details and now I would like to invite Austin to show you the demonstration and also explain in real uh, system. All right, Austin? Yep. Okay. Right, so, okay, let me stop my screen. Yep, okay. So I pass it back I, to you. Yeah. Yeah. I guess, I you, guess. <laughs> you can see my screen, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and uh, for me, uh, before we dive into this uh, choreograph software, I really back want to back to you guys for this website. Uh, like what I said before, this website is important for the developer. They can use this website for all kind of SDK development supporting. And uh, back there, uh, in uh, when we use the this uh, choreograph software, we should enter trying to find the basic uh, base, basic knowledge about the choreograph. But to, uh, when he, when we click into this website, find the now uh, tab, we can see here they have a different different description about the how we use the soft, how we use on Pepper, even how to create the application, and uh, they really have this choreograph too. Yeah. Okay, I'll we'll click on this uh, uh, choreograph suit. We can see all the details, what is choreograph, even the manual panels, toolbars in glance, and connect the choreograph robot. And also, they have a lot uh, other for main po main panels for describe what is what, how to use software how, uh, software software of a score graph, and uh, they give you the more details introduction about the main panel, and even for advanced panel. Uh, okay, uh, they, they just this page is just uh, cover all the details about how to use the core graph. But uh, in uh, within this online uh, classroom, we uh, I just make an easy way to let you know how to use uh, how to use Anchor Graph and uh, how to make a program with that. So if you want deep detail more 
and want to dive into more knowledge about a cool graph, I guess that this website is good for you. And you can find it offline. Try to read it out the detail, out the manuals, or we can call uh, this uh, um, menu page for a software cool graph. Okay. Um, like uh, oh, what I said, covered by uh, Jeffrey, this is just some uh, just to pick up all the important parts and to make uh, make uh, the program running. Uh, that's our basic um, functions we need to know before we dive into the uh, dive in, into the more details from the website. And the, once we just open this core graph, we can see here. Uh, uh, wait for a second. Let me let me try it again. OK. I'm trying to open my core graph and uh, what you can see here, they are the core graph just trying to connect connect to something, but they're going to wait uh, like for uh, five, three, three, three to five seconds. Then they're trying to connect to the virtual robot. OK, we got the simulator here. <clears throat> All right. OK, we can simulate here and which means this is our work for my our computer in your computer. Some sometimes you just install the core graph and you can see the simulator, which means your, your, your computer may be a lack of a driver to like they have don't have the kind of specific driver for your GPU to support on the simulator. And what we can do is to follow the instruction from the um, the message pop up. You try to yeah, enter in uh, enter into another website. Just tell you how to install the uh, drivers for, for for your for your computer. Okay. And uh, okay. Uh, once uh, everything's set up like this, we we saw the simulator and also they have the connected virtual robots. Everything's okay. We can just try to uh, make a program program with it. OK, um, as as you can see, that's the whole picture is about the core graph. We just divide into different uh, different pine panels and uh, I just follow the structure of uh, introduction in, introduction by introduced by is Jeffrey and for the project files and uh, this is a, a we can think that the core graphs like a, a comparison with the other IDE. It's a integrated software development tools, right? And they, they basically have the, the, those files to, to compile and to organize to make a program running. And this file is, is standard for different platforms. But core graph, you know, core graph only running with the pepper. And now they just uh, name it like uh, uh, they have the basic layers like mm, behavior and a translation and the manifest. Uh, those files are specific for for the basic structure of how we program with it. And uh, if you know more details about what this kind of behavior is and uh, how we just adding the translation and even which how to write the manifest, and you can dive into this website to know more about it. Okay, so. Uh, another, another mention about it. Um, it is, this this is, is very important. This is a cover all the whole knowledge about the core graph. <clears throat> okay, uh, back to the core graph. We can see the first step we need to do is like uh, to know all the panels. From here, we can we have the project file, and it still have the project objects. And um, but I, I don't want to give the details about it. Uh, what we need to know. For the projects, is it that's enough for us to um, to program it with it? And also uh, below this uh, this project file, we can see the box library. And like uh, the slide said, uh, they have, they just divided into different features from the animation, speech, and LEDs and uh, multimedia. Um, and let's go on. Okay, just. Uh, Eclipse, uh, eclipse out this is menu. We can see there uh, the out the uh, we, we call this like a box, right? Um, this is just the standard for different functions. So like uh, 
uh, animation we can find in some modes or entertainments like dance, pepper, disco. They get in this box. We can let the pepper dance in the disco. OK, I, I'm going to show show the demonstrations uh, the most demo demonstration after this. OK, just right now I'm just uh, miss that. <clears throat> OK, uh, that's uh, that. That's dif divided different features and standard for different functions from the pepper. If you want to make pepper move, move uh, just uh, just um, show the uh, the degrees of motion. We can use this functions from here. We got we call the animation, and I also got a speech. Uh, as you can know, as you know, uh, we just can make pepper see something and uh, to listen something, and uh, LEDs. Um, you know, pepper have different kind of uh, uh, um, lights from the eye, even from the shoulder. That's uh, just the composite composed by the LEDs. Yeah, so uh, they can show different colors and uh, and a different a different kind of kind of uh, uh, color blinking. Yeah, you can choose uh, choose any color and any features as you want. Another part is about the multimedia. Multimedia is we know that Pepper have the tablets, and you know we can use the tablet to show something, even for the website. We can show a website, a website for made by ourselves, and also can show the image and the video from it, and just make it, make Pepper more entertainment. <clears throat> and movements, ah, uh, movements we call just let Pepper move around. Because the pepper have four, uh, they have. Just let me show it. And the pepper we have the four, there's three wheels. They can move around uh, all all different directions. Okay, and uh, as you can see, we can let pepper move forward and backward, even for left and right. Just to use this, the use this function from the movement, and also sensing. Uh, sensing like uh, I introduced before, peppers had to have different diff different kind of sense touching sensors. They can they can uh, accept all the inputs from the program. And uh, once you just touch to touch peppers head, they just uh, feel oh some 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 the the I mean the sensor can feel the touching by you. Okay, and the last one is we call the program programming. The, that's the basic logic behind the the programming. Now, as as we can know, we want to use the if if condition and a switch condition, and uh, we how we define a variable and how we do the math. Even we can control the memory and uh, another about just the information from the system. Yeah, you can try try to to uh, make a program with the basic knowledge. Uh, logic behind the program, so that's the the tools. All the tools support for uh, for programming in Pepper. <clears throat> okay, that's that's really important parts for the box library. And uh, in the middle, we call the flow flow chart drawing um, panel. Here, we we just uh, use this panel to trying to make some program with that, and. Uh, just later, I'm going to introduce this more, and I'll also we're going to use this more as as often, <clears throat> often. Okay. Uh, like what I said before, this is a, a simulator, and uh, once you, once you, once you just uh, connect the virtual robots, we can see here. This is to tell you that the the, the current soft the so core graph software connected to the virtual robots and. It, it shows here, OK, and but you know that core graph, core graph um, can support on the paper on the robots of paper and now and um, we know that change different robots. OK, another before we dive into this, this, this one, uh, this, uh, this panel we and uh, like to, you know about the uh, the core graph pre preference in this preference. We have different kind of uh, um, uh, arguments adjustment, right? And and also for the general, they can change the 
motor speed and use the Spark library and all of the condition you can choose or not. But I, can, I, I, I can't into, I can details more all those options you can use back to the website. If you want to know more every options meaning, you can click here to know more details about it. <clears throat> OK, and uh, the important parts, they have the dis display and just to show the different uh, the different uh, uh, disgrace or disgrace of motion of pepper and uh, they just uh, stand a different colors, right? And this uh, I, I think is useful for the uh, for the office class. We can make a pepper do the timeline and to analyze the, uh, what's going on with the, this motion. It's uh, a right on uh, right or wrong. We use the color to standard for the mm, the, the motion. <clears throat> OK, and uh, for the last tab, we know that of the virtual robots. OK, we can choose the robot model. As we know, we, we, basically we have two kind of models like a pepper and a now and the last one we call a Jomeo, but we don't have C uh, in the real time in, in the real life. So we can change the uh, th we can call this kind of different version. It's from the it's a d different version of hardware and for pepper, we would have the Y20. And um, we just uh, use the latest one. It's uh, B16, and we want to try to now, and we can pick one of that maybe for the, okay, now H25, 50. Want to click OK, and you still gotta wait, right? Wait for to connect the virtual robots, okay? Back there, we can see what changes uh, another robot. So you, if you want to try to different kind of hardware, you just uh, uh, change from here. That's the important parts. Uh, in, in, in some time defaults, uh, default after uh, default options when you start with the core graph, it, it, in sometimes running with the now, you can change it, change it from here. <clears throat> OK, we're going to still uh, back to the pepper. OK, and uh, here we have this uh, um, a, a lot of um, the, the tabs and uh, we, we can cause different menus for different functions. Uh, still, I, I'm going to skip it because it's uh, more knowledge about it and it's a uh, take a long time to introduce. To introduce. What we need to do just a back to a website and to know more details about all these functions like OK. And another kind of video monitor and uh, once once you just uh, try to well, connect the real robots, you can see the camera from the rope from the pepper, even from the head and even from the mouth. You know, pepper have two kind of 2D camera. One is from the pepper's head and another one from the for pepper's mouth, right? <clears throat> And uh, another one we got um, under below and uh, under under the robot view panel. We can see here uh, they have the robot application, and this, that's that's really very important important parts. That's all the application supported on this robot. You know, for me, uh, we can see the basic 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 uh, package here. We have the language uh, for the language Chinese and language English. We know we all know that peppers support different different kind of languages even for 20, 20 language support. You can download the package and install it on install it on the on the real robots. But for me, we just uh, I just connected the virtual robots and we have some less application. I just uh, tried to in, in, install it before. But how we just uh, install the package here, you can see. As a package and install current project the robot and even for the installed package the robots. So uh, after after the following uh, class, I'm going to introduce more what kind of difference of uh, packaging and install packaging. So that that's that's two is different. Um, as if you if you confused about it, um, if you want to know at advance, you can check the website here to know how to how to install the application. You, you download or even you compile the projects, OK? And another one we call the inspector. Uh, 
Um, um, okay, uh, before I introduce this uh, uh, inspector, I need to combine this one inspector to the uh, box library because it just uh, gave all the details about about the, uh, the the library, the box. Once we just uh, click one of the box, they just tell me what is the box used use to, and they just give me the name and the description even what kind of image that, and also input output. Okay, okay, and uh, that's that. I think that's the combined together with with the box library and inspector. And the robot application, um, I, I think we, we should combine with the, the project project file, even combine with all the core graph software. Why why did I see that? Because the we install other application um, from the package, right? From the package and for core graph, we can see the manuals from the file here. We can build up the export project to CRG file. That that's kind of a that's kind of a package. And also we can build application package and the uh, suffix we call it the dot PKG. It's running on the mic, even running on the Linux. So once we just are trying to make a program here, I wanted to export in you know, or build application package. They just uh, generate or export the package package file from this from uh, to our uh, folder. Then we can try to find the PKG file. OK, I don't have PKG file here. Uh, wait a second. I think it has PKG. OK. Uh, we we have this kind of PKG file and once you click on it, I'm going to go open, then they're going to install into this uh, application. All right. OK, that's important parts. <clears throat> OK, and uh, uh, after we know all the details about panel, different panels and uh, and I, I should give instruction instruction about how to use this uh, uh, software connected uh, uh, connect the real robots. Currently, we just connect to the robots like a virtual robots, and uh, we can use this button. Try to uh, find the same the same system net network or same 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 local network, but each is a keep it at the same uh, same one. To try to find all the uh, all the papers inside inside the website inside the, inside of the wipe. Um, okay, uh, you or uh, once your paper your real paper just uh, uh, in, um, with within the, within your graph have the same um, network, then you can see all the uh, papers listed around here, and is in the is name and port and an IP. And if you don't, you can click the button. You can click the button from the papers, the paper um, behind the laptop tablet, and the paper trying to tell you the address. And it, once you know the address, you can use a fixed IP and even the host name. Try to give the address here and just select it. Okay. Well. Uh, which ways means which ways means that you connect the real real paper? You can see from here they they, they, will, they will tell you connect the real the real paper and the real IP address. You can see from here, okay? And also you can dis uh, disconnect it from from this. And uh, this button means we're gonna run the we're gonna run the current uh, um, you know the current uh, projects. <clears throat> And also others up others buttons and um, some related to other other functions. Uh, we're gonna introduce uh, later. <clears throat> um, for another important parts for the you know for for the box. Okay, they have uh, they have different box. Before we dive in different box, and let me try to. Find a box like this. OK, we, we really we really don't even know what is the box meaning, but we can tap it 
and try to uh, to see the inspector from here. They just tell me uh, what is the box meaning? This is Python script and descriptions like uh, uh, the box contains a basic Python script and it can be used to create a, in any Python script or box that you would like. OK, uh, which means this only for uh, you can write any Python scripts on it. When you can double click on it, you can see here <clears throat> to show the basic knowledge about basic basic knowledge about a Python. You can write any Python code here trying to make it happen. And we're going to details after this uh, after the, in the following in film class. OK. Uh, before uh, we run, we, we write uh, the basic program. I need I we should what we needed to know about it's a it's a basic about box. <clears throat> OK, for the box, we can see uh, we can we can think like uh, the box is a function uh, in programming. Uh, we know that in 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 the in any program prom, programming language, we know that they have the function. The function have the name and it even have the parameter, even have the return the, the return value and uh, all the logic in, inside it. So compare with the functions we're writing in any other languages, we can we can think think of this box like that that way. Uh, you know, compare com, uh, comparison with uh, comparison with the, the um, function, we can think of Python script. It's the function's name. And the but they have special one. They have the icon for it. OK, and maybe they have some parameter, but it's a Python script that they don't they don't have any parameters inside, but we can try to find another one. Uh, like. Uh, uh, speech. Speech. See, oh, see. See here, we can uh, see is uh, the function's name, and also the house uh, icon. We, we we can click on it, and they have the parameters. They can control the voice shaping, and the, the values here, and uh, the speed a value from here, and even you can try to uh, type the text, right? So that's the box we have: the name and the parameter. But this box don't have any parameter. We can add it by, by ourselves. OK, and OK, and, and another important part for the box, we need to know the input. Uh, bef uh, left, le on the left of this box, they have two inputs. We call this gonna the input, and the other parts, we call it the outputs, which means when we try and run in this Python script, but they just trying to make uh, the function work inside, and uh, after that, they should return some values to run the other parts. Okay, but important part we we can set different types for for any functions. We have different uh, types of type of type of parameter, but even for the box, they they really have different types. For the black one, you can see there here. They have colored the box for the inputs. For the input, they, they only have the black one. We call it activate activation uh, type. And this this you have another another type. We can right click uh, this uh, box and we're gonna add the box. Okay. You can see they have they have inputs on start and on stop, right? On start, on stop for the inputs here, here, and on stop we have here, but they don't have any parameter. We can add it, even trying to uh, add it, even delayed. Okay. Okay. How about how about just uh, trying to um, give a type, another type? Maybe we try to input one and give the ban. Ban means activate activation type. That's a black color. And then they, they also have other three types like dynamic, number, and string. We're trying to add, add one for dynamic. Oh, we can see here this is added another inputs because it's gray one. And also we can 
try to put a number for the input two, and that's yellow. Okay, we can put another input from here, but we can we also can put uh, give the outputs a different uh, type like string. Okay, he's here. There, there, the, the color blue stand for it. Okay, uh, that's basic knowledge about what what, what is the box uh, left on the left of the box. We can we call it the input. On the right of this box, we call the outputs. When we want to run in this part, uh, when running on this box, we need inputs trying to activate this box, or even trying to uh, uh, transfer the different type into this box. Then this is trying to uh, uh, calculate all this, this algorithm, then uh, return the value from here. The, for the for this one, we don't have for the band tap, we really don't have any value, just a void. You can think it's a void type. Also for the outputs, which means it's type of screen. They can return name or other things. OK. OK, uh, I just give a, a brief introduction about the Python script. I'm trying to make a program with that. In here, uh, we call this parts like uh, and the flow charts, flow, flow charts, uh, drawing panel. We can drag any box. If you want any functions from from the box, you can try to drag into this panel. OK, then. You make them run. But first of all, I, I want to make this project uh, project happen. I need to run the basic basic functions like a C something. Mm, we only have the C box. OK, Bef uh, before we connect any lines with this C box, we should know what is the C's work. OK, back to the inspector. We know that uh, the, the C box means we just see some test and a test that can be localized, then, which means we can add it by ourselves. And then the type is the script and languages support the Python. Like what I said before, and the, that's that's all the code behind it. We can try to re-edit as you as you want. <clears throat> okay, and C, which means its name, and then even have the parameter. We call it the voice shaping and the speed. And you can text. Okay, hello, my name is Pepper. Okay, we just let Pepper see something like this. Hello, my name is Pepper. Okay, before we're running, we want to run in this uh, uh, box. We need a very important, a very important parts about the property. When we click on the property, we can see that the support language and a description language, and even application title and application ID and other parts. All of the information is very important because once you just want to package all the projects from your yours, you need to know all the details, all the properties meaning. Okay. From here, we have we need to know we have the language support, right? So for support the 2020 language, and um, for English, but in China we are trying to support the Chinese. And if you you have English, you can you can choose the multiple language as you want. <clears throat> and here, once you just uh, select the languages, they just show here, uh, just tell you you what kind of language you support. And uh, what kind of language you can description? Uh, this description means mean uh, uh, just a give introduction about the the this application. Uh, the other people can see uh, the description, know how your know, application running and how the application is. What is the application is? So that's a very important part. They just supported uh, support different languages. And another one for the, we call the application title. Um, mm, we just think of that's the App Store. Yeah, we have this different application, but they have real the real name here. That's the application name, and also application ID, unique a unique application ID, and that's an identifier your application. And another about the application version, and that's basic. That's based on you. Uh, you're trying to. Update all your uh, application as uh, from the one and two and three to make uh, to remember 
uh, which wording you which wording you have and uh, and how updated your pro pro projects. Uh, that that's application description. Because we have two languages support, we can try to give the description for each one. And another part is about Nauti requirements. And here we can uh, choose the Nauti version. As like 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 what I said before, Nauti have a kind of different version. Nauti uh, 2.5 and 2.9, but they have they are different, right? One was the first support. One was the support on Enjoy. Another one supported 2.5. So. <clears throat> you just um, try to make the right version for your application. And another one about the uh, robot request. Any robot, even for the paper and uh, now robots, it's uh, very matched to the to this to the uh, preference you set for the current robot. Okay, that's the <clears throat> basic knowledge about the uh, property. Once you just set about the application and uh, you just click OK. And this is import all the language you 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 all, uh, even all the properties options and uh, package into the project. <clears throat> okay, between uh, between the left and the right, um, we can uh, we can this, this this always start from the uh, the whole project. And what I mean is like a main function. In other languages, we we'll always have the entries, the first entry. In your program, that's the start point. Start point, okay. And we're trying to start from here, make Pepper see something, and one see one finish one done with the C seeing function. Then we're gonna stop all the application, okay, okay. Uh, that that's the whole part of how how we program with the core graph. It's very interesting and it's very easy to make Pepper see something. Okay, let me try about it. Uh, when we run this pro pro application, you can see uh, the you can see here have uh, some dialogue even at the uh, <coughs> for the uh, context. Going to show you here. I'm going to try to run with that. Okay, so you're going to see something. The hello, my name is Pepper, right? Okay, you can see here. And uh, another important part is about oh, they have when you run run with this box or run with all those projects. You can you can see that they are trying to move uh, the mo move this those the green signals signals means uh what, what kind of road what kind of way the the logic running and the how the you can quickly catch up the um the the error parts or the uh, the, the the system lock like this and uh, yeah for for this one. <coughs> I just uh, show you how to see something, and if you want to make a make more, you know, make more application. I guess I I can combine an other motions like uh, okay, make some animation like what I said before is Tai Chi Twin and even Disco and uh, Headband. Okay. Uh, we, we just make the pro programming simple. Try to try to connect with the start and and see and try to Tai Chi and a disco and uh, have ban and then finish. Okay, let's run this pro project. Okay, this gonna see something. Okay. Okay, gonna stop it. Run again. Okay. Okay. And this is trying to run a uh, uh, one by one to make a Tai Chi train and a Discord and had a headband. And you can see. Uh, the result from here from a civilian simulator and uh, another of uh, the final parts about uh, how we com uh, how we divide into different levels it's so like uh, okay those three belong to the same same category maybe we can make pepper doing something right so we can combine um, 
combine all this uh, uh, box to it into one box. OK, we can convert it to a box to one box. We can name it dance. And then all this uh, make a uh, convert to one box, but is this this box and contain the other the three other box. When we double click on it, we can see all this box around here. OK, we can see the different level from uh, from the menu and you want to try to see the roots and click on it. You can see the whole project logic and you want to see the details about the dance. You can click into it and to see the more details about how, how the program is running. OK. Uh, for, the, for, 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 the, for the time issue, I uh, just uh, give you the basic knowledge about uh, the whole core graph. And uh, as, as you know, the, the core graph have a lot of functions. Um, I just recommend you just after this class, you can check up, check about this website to know more about how we use the core graph. All right, so hope, hopefully we can um, just, uh, sh we can show you more, more functions how we program on core graph in the following course. Oh, at this time, I just to finish uh, uh, my introduction about a core graph. I'm going to back to Jeffrey. OK, thank you very much. Right, thanks a lot. Thanks, Austin, for a very detailed explanation. I believe now uh, you have a very clear idea like how to start with your core graph. OK, let me put up my slide. Okay. Okay. So back to the slide. All right. So we have. Um, so I would like to uh, 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 refresh again. So what what we what we show today is how to install the ChroGraph software, and then after that, um, Austin have very detailed explanation on this piece of software. What are all the term? Uh, what are all the windows for? and also the step by step how you start to create uh, your application right by dragging the box and then you try to connect them and what are those things means so i hope this week uh, everyone can start to set up your system you can install the software and try to play around with all this thing and see the behavior like when you make like for example the disco box you can see uh, on your right hand side the robot is actually moved accordingly and you can also open up the dialog box down there that you, although you can't hear it, but you can actually see uh, the, the, the text, okay? So that actually represent uh, the robot say something, right? So this is uh, what we can do with just the simulator, with just the software. And um, next week we are going to do more, right? We are going to make robot able, uh, make Pepper able to speak and also to listen and also to have dialogue with human. Right, so that is what we're going to do next week. So before next week, um, in order for to facilitate you to do your uh, exercise, so we have uh, prepared like an assignment, right? So this is uh, totally a self-learned class. So it is up to your own initiative uh, for, for you to uh, pick up the knowledge and also the the, the development uh, experience by yourself. So we what we can do is like we help you uh, to list now what you're supposed to do at home. So before the next class so that you know how to catch up for the next class. So the first is like you need to install your choreograph and then if you have the pepper, you can try to connect under the same network. Okay, But if you don't have, you can still work on the virtual robots, no problem. Then you can familiarize with the choreograph interface, the operation, how to create application, how to use the box. You can try with other boxes, other, other boxes, no problem, right? Then you can see how you actually connect them and arrange them or assembly them in the flow uh, chart drawing box. And then, okay, upload and delete application. This one is for the real robot, but you can run it on your uh, virtual robot. No problem, this one, right? So try to familiar with the interface so that next week when we start to build real application, you already like know all this, where, where are all the tools and how to do the basic operation and so on. Okay, so just to assist you, um, for the coming week, we actually have a lot of um, sample code. Okay, that, that we will use and extend during the class uh, and you can actually download. Okay, so we already put it 
open source, so online, uh, on our GitHub repository. So just to show you where is it. Uh, OK, so I need to go to our GitHub. So GitHub is over here. So you just go to, yeah, the link is in the website. So, uh, sorry, the slide. So you can click from there. So you come to this page like GitHub, RoboCup at Home Education, and then um, RC Home EDU Learn Pepper 25. OK, so you might can see over here is we actually have two. One is Learn Pepper and one is Learn Pepper 25. OK, because um, uh, previous year we actually have class for Android as well. So that one is uh, the, the 2.9 version. So that is uh, the example for Android. So for this class, we are using the choreograph and we are using the Nauchi, which is a 2.5 version. So uh, you you can refer our sample code under this uh, repository, which is Learn Pepper 25. So over here, you can find all the examples, for example, in the English folder. You can find like in the next week, we got the audio one, then the vision and so on. So all the code is over here. You can set up first. Uh, so you need to set up first. OK, uh, like this. OK, so you download, you set up and then you can open up in your choreograph and have a look. OK, but don't worry. Next week start onwards, we will we will explain the example code. Right. So that's all for today. We already finished uh, the content and the timing is just nice. It's about five minutes to 930. Right. Uh, so uh, as a rehab, so uh, we list down all the important links for you. So we have uh, the the general uh, online classroom page that you can find all the links and also the details, the class and so on. So um, robot.net uh, under courses, you can find the materials that we have. And next week, you're supposed to be able to see the video that we have recorded today over there as well. And if you have anything you want to ask or anything you want to discuss, feel free to join our class group. So me and Austin will try to explain uh, in more detail or, or, or we try to reply you over there. Right. And any other things that you want to ask about RoboCup, about Pepper, about at home education, about this online classroom or workshop or anything, right? Anything that relate to RoboCup at home education, feel free to contact us via our email, oc at robocup at home edu .org. OK, so OK, so I have already done all the conclusions. So today, thanks a lot, um, Austin. So we will conclude this session and we will open for Q&A. OK, so now I would like to invite our translator from our LOC uh, to summarize what I just said uh, to the audience and also open the Q&A session. Uh, OK. Uh, uh, assignment เอ่อได้เอ่อที่เค้าสอนวิธีการลงตัวเอ่อคอร์โรกราฟไปเอ่อพอมีตัวอย่างบ้างอยู่ในลิงก์ด้านล่างนะครับที่เป็น https://github.com เนาะซึ่งเอ่อถ้าเข้าไปในเนี้ยเราจะเจอเป็นเอ่อสองภาษาอะไรอย่างเงี้ยครับก็ถ้าเข้าไปเจอที่เป็นเอ่อมีแบบพี่เอิ่มมีอะไรเลยเนี่ยอาจจะไม่ใช่เนาะก
any, any question from the floor or anything you want to ask about this? And um, I, I really hope like, although you don't have Pepper currently, or you can't access your Pepper robot currently, but I hope this class will also to help you to able to start your Pepper development with just the choreograph tools. You can still develop a lot of things. And based on my experience, you can go to our uh, YouTube channel. You can see like the previous uh, uh, entries that actually got teams that they actually submit the simulated uh, robots uh, for the online challenge, right? So you, you can actually do with that. And I, I actually saw very nice uh, simulated robot application with the Pepper uh, model in ROS and so on. So there are actually many things that you can do without the limitation of not having uh, the robots. So uh, especially now, I think like uh, it's quite difficult for, for many places to access to the robots and even I'm not sure if just the, uh, Austin able to access the robot next week, but we really hope for the best uh, that we can show you the physical robot um, operation. But for the meantime, we also try to work it out so that you can you can do something with uh, whatever resources that you have now. So um, I, I would like to Again, open uh, the Q&A session if just if you have anything you want to ask, if you can ask us in, in Thai, no problem. Uh, our committee member will, can answer you. Uh, the important thing is I really hope to see you again next week for this class, and I really hope that you will attempt to join uh, the competition for this uh, at-home education, uh, the standard platform challenge as well, whether it's an online version or the on-site version. Okay, so with that, any anything you want to ask or any question you want to, uh, or any feedback or any any yeah, anything you want to say, <laughs> is there anything anyone, any question? Can I have anyone to have give me some feedback? I don't know. Do you have pepper in Thai? Or anyone actually have pepper that joined today? Anyone got anything that you want to feedback to us? No question? No question. Yeah, yes. Have no question? Any question? No. <laughs> All right, okay, so no question from the audience. I, I, I guess like I think Austin already explained everything very detailed, so everyone is happy. <laughs> right, so thanks a lot, Austin and Solin Chong uh, from SoftBank Robotics today to join me. And also thanks to all my translator, uh, uh, LOC committee member to support for the Thai language support. Uh, I, I really hope some feedback from you, so but don't worry because you might be a bit shy. So we still have uh, four weeks to go another four class to go. So um, if anything, yeah, just write to us, uh, feedback to us so that we can improve because this class is basically for you. Okay, we do develop all these things, it's, it's for you, right? So we would like to assist you uh, so that you can join the competition, you can join the workshop and you can experience Pepper. And even we have Pepper waiting you uh, at Bangkok, right, uh, in Bangkok. Uh, so so that you, you can actually come and yeah, work on the robots itself, okay? Right, so with that, I would like to close the session today. Thanks a lot, yeah, Austin Lin Chong from SoftBank Robotics and also uh, LOC member. And uh, with that, I would like to uh, say thanks to everyone to, to make it um, to attend today and hope to see you next week. Okay, right, same, same time, same place. Okay, see you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.